Hey Mike with Rogue Pest Control here. In today's video I'm going to answer the question of do bed bugs fly? You know most people one of their biggest pest control fears is getting bed bugs and it can be very time consuming to get rid of, very expensive, they can cause a lot of problems and be incredibly hard to get rid of. So the fact that if they could fly would be even more dangerous and more of a nightmare. And so good thing is they don't actually fly. So it's kind of interesting though, they do have wing pads which never really develop fully into wings. So thankfully at this point, bed bugs cannot fly. So that's good. So you can put that fear to rest. But at the same time, they've been adapting over the years more and more and more. And that makes them incredibly uh, dangerous, a uh, hectic pest to get, right? It can cause a lot of pest issues in your home if you get bed bugs. So it's interesting. Bed bugs actually have been around for a long, long time. There's been uh, evidence showing that they've been around since ancient Egypt. And in some cases, they think that they've been around for thousands and thousands of years. There's actually kind of a, a sister species almost called bat bugs. And these are basically bed bugs, but they live in caves and they feed off of bats. And now it's thought that the current day modern bed bugs kind of originated with these bat bugs when back in the day when humans were cavemen, right? And they lived in caves alongside of bats, they could have been a food source as well. So it's thought that as humans moved on and stopped living in caves, kind of advanced in society, what happened is some of these bed bugs or bat bugs went along with them and then have since evolved and more and so live now in homes and furniture and different things like that. So it's interesting that they kind of have these parallels and this really proves again that bed bugs are such great hitchhikers that they've moved from you know caves and dwellings with bats uh, to following humans around the world. And that's one thing to really keep in mind as well is they've adapted significantly. So over the years, they've actually become more and more resistant to pesticides, two different traditional methods of getting rid of bed bugs, and they become harder and harder to get rid of. So, you know, who's to say in the future that they might develop those wings that that might become an option as well where they could be flying, but as of now, they can get around pretty easily as well uh, without that ability. And so, like I said, they're very good hitchhikers, and something to keep in mind is that they don't necessarily just live on beds, right? So that's a great place where they hide out. Uh, again, a lot of times you don't see them or don't notice them because what they do is when they are living on your bed, they really only come out to feed. So they're gonna be hiding in like cracks and crevices along the bed frames, basically hidden out of sight. And then when you're laying down or sleeping or hanging out on these spots, your body heat, uh, the carbon dioxide you're breathing out, those attracts those bed bugs and then when they actually do come out, they end up injecting you with uh, an anesthesia. And what that does, it numbs the area. And so you don't even know that they're biting you, right? So what can happen is they could be feeding off you for a long time before you start to notice uh, signs of bed bug bites, different things like that. So a lot of times they can be even hard to identify that they're even there until you're starting to show uh, signs that they've been feeding off you. So something again to really keep in mind, you wanna keep on a lookout when you're traveling uh, in your home, because again, uh, while bed bugs can't fly, they do actually like to hitchhike along things like luggage and clothing, hang out in hotel rooms. So a lot of times what can happen is these bed bugs can hop on those things, right? Your luggage, your clothing, and be stored in carry on. So again, maybe they're not on yours, but if the overhead bins are full of different luggage from people traveling all over, those people could have encountered bed bugs as well. And like I said, they're very hardy travelers, so they'll hitch rides uh, in your carry-on, in, in the, the stored baggage, different things like that. So while they can't necessarily fly, uh, they have found a way to take advantage of our technology and get onto planes and travel all over the world. And they probably learned that as well from those bat bugs because that's another issue that can happen is the bat bugs, what will happen is they'll actually hitch rides on the bats. So as they fly around in different caves, go across the world, uh, they can be carrying those back and forth as well. And those can even get in your house too. So again, we really don't recommend trying to get rid of bed bugs on your own. It's very ineffective and it costs a lot. It's a big hassle. And again, 
a few bed bugs can turn into a huge problem very quickly. And so again, at the same time though, it could be these bat bugs where if they're getting into your chimney, your attic, different you know sheds, areas around your home, it doesn't mean that these little bat bugs couldn't transfer and come into your home as well. And the thing is, you're not really able to tell what is what unless you're a trained professional looking under a microscope to really tell the difference between these bed bugs and these bat bugs. So again, it's very different treatments based on what bug and issue and pest it is. So for all these issues like we're talking about, bed bugs, bat bugs, hitchhikers, whatever they are, uh, again, reach out to a pest control service because it can be very cost consuming, time consuming, and can be really hard to identify. And if you treat for the wrong thing, it's not gonna do a whole lot. So again, we really recommend reaching out to a pest control service if you have any type of bat bugs or bed bug concerns. And again, these guys don't really fly, but they've adapted over the years to learn how to take advantage of whether it's hitching on animals that can fly or hopping on our planes with us. So they're still a threat kind of all over the world. So it's something to really keep in mind. And who knows, maybe in the future, they'll grow into those wings as well. And we could have even more problems with them uh, down the road. So again, guys, hopefully you got some benefit and value out of this video. If you did, feel free to comment and share. And if you do have pest issues, especially bed bugs, again, reach out to a pest control service like us over at Rove Pest Control. You can do that over at rovepestcontrol.com. And then if you happen to be a first time customer with us, you can also go to rovepestcontrol.com forward slash 50 off. You'll get $50 off your first service with us. So again, it's a great discount to tap into. So if you're having issues, go to rovepestcontrol.com. And then as a first time customer, again, go to rovepestcontrol.com forward slash 50 off. But definitely appreciate your time. We'll talk to you guys soon.